Oh boy. Haven't seen this in a while. Hello everyone. My name is Vivian Jade, the trained unprofessional. And welcome back to Repeat. <sighs> this is a bright and sunny day on the channel one and all. Because <sighs> this is the 10,000 subscriber special. You all actually did it. I... I've been re-emotional every time I have thought about it, every time I've seen it, I got the notification on my phone, and it actually happened. I never thought I'd see the day. I really, really never did. But it happened. You all brought this channel to 10,000 subscribers. We're a couple of months short of the six-year mark from when we started playing this game in particular, around the same time as when I pl started playing extracurricular activities. Of course, this was preceded by Amorous, unfortunately. <laughs> and of course, once 2023 starts, that'll be the 20-year anniversary of the year in which I started to record videos overall in my life. Just started on a little webcam, a little stick microphone, all plugged into Windows Movie Maker and a USB at my old home in the old village. 20 years later. And here we are. I cannot begin to express my gratitude and how I've been feeling. As of recording, it literally happened last night. Or, really, this morning, because my sleep schedule's all screwed up, so really, it was, it was this morning. Uh, but I... I am beyond grateful for each and every one of you. No matter how long you've been here, whatever brought you here, why you stayed. Thank you. And... I hope that I continue to earn the time you have given to me and so that brings us to why we're here. I, I don't want to uh, get too emotional on the front end of this. <laughs> so repeat, not only was it the first visual novel that we played here on the channel, it was also the first visual novel I ever played. I hadn't played any for a visual novel before uh, playing them on this channel. Just straight up, I, I just never had. And this also coincides with a big update that Shirokoi brought out for this game. He rehauled, rehauled, overhauled, redid and overhauled the fucking all, all, a bunch of sprites. I think he said all the sprites, but just fucking redid a bunch of the art, rewrote a bunch of stuff. And so what we're going to do here, since 10,000 subscribers coincides with this big ass update, we're taking a little journey back to where it all started. We're going to read the new prologue of repeat. With a fresh mind, new perspective, and about five and a half years away from when we started it, almost six years later. With new eyes and a fresh perspective. Let's start again. Here we go. Ah, oh. That's a nice way to start. Hello again, friend. Hello to you too. <laughs> Welcome back to the beginning. Do you remember anything? Yeah, bits and pieces. The events that happened before, the tragedies that will inevitably repeat themselves, Oh, I... I couldn't bring back your memories. Just like last time. Ah. 
Don't worry. My memories are a bit shattered too. Things will be better this time around. I'm sure of it. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Well, it's time for us to depart. But before we go, can I tell you something? I've said this many times before, but I want to tell you again. I... I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Damn. Day one, begin again! Here we go. There they are. Back in the days of the one-eyed man. Me. So, this is it, huh? They didn't update all of the art. Obviously, it's still 4x3. There's still this background. If they redid every single asset in the game, th th it would be a way too much. Way too much. But the amount of work they did, I can only... The, the patch notes on this update are, is like a book in and of itself. Check it out in, in the, the link to this game, the Patreon is in the it's in the description. Just check out the patch notes on the itch page. It's it's a fucking it's a huge fucking list. The city noise echoed around me as I arrived to my destination. I've never been to this side of town before, but it looks like I'll have to get used to living here. Garania Academy. A fancy school with a month-long summer program for Gifted students. I'm going to be spending the next four weeks here, despite not quite fitting the gifted criteria. <laughs> this sounded like the opposite of a good time. I'd rather be back home sleeping my summer away, if I'm being honest, but my parents wanted me out of the house. Jeez, what a drag. The weather was certainly agreeing with me. Looks as though it might rain any minute. Better hurry up and get inside. Head out strolling in late would leave a good first impression. As I approached the front doors, the air suddenly turned frigid. Question marks. Huh? What? Oh, you creepy bastard! Not that away. <laughs> Oh, you freaky fuck. Ah, oh, man. Gonna be hard not to meta game. Ah, fuck it. I'm. <laughs> what am I. What am I gonna pretend? Like, I haven't had this game in my favorites list for fucking. My top 10 favorite visual novels list for fucking six years at this point. Old shiver fell down my spine. What the hell was that just now? Wait, what? Oh, crap, the door's locked! What am I gonna do? The teachers are gonna rip me a new one if I'm actually late! It's slamming the doors to get someone's attention, but nobody was there to hear me! Uh, this day couldn't get any worse! There it is! Good old cliches! <laughs> uh... You gotta have them. You gotta have them. Just let it happen, man. Just fucking get over it and let it happen. They're fun. They're fun. Well, shit. I'm getting soaked. <laughs> Try banging on the glass again. Hello? Is anybody there? Open the door. I'm gonna shit. Oh, oh, here we go! I believe it, Philip, but we're gonna pretend like we don't know, so... Um, hey there, is everything alright? Who is it? Suddenly, a shadow passed over my head and the rain stopped pelting me. Hey! Oh, look at you! <laughs> oh, look at you! Ah, updated art! Look at you! 
so spiky. A short boy came up behind me, nervously gripping an umbrella. You don't look nervous. You look... You look very confident. You look like you're ready to stab a motherfucker, but I don't know that. Look round my age and very short. Uh, another student, maybe? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine, but the door's locked and nobody's around. I mean, he's around, so... <laughs> I think I'm missing the orientation, too. What a coincidence. I got locked out from the side entrance, too. Oh, actually, I kind of broke the door handle on accident. And I, I think we'll have a better chance of getting inside if we tried the back entrance instead. Want to go together? <laughs> Sounds better than standing around clueless. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're a real lifesaver. Happy to help. Name's Philip, by the way. What's yours? What is your name? Well, we gotta keep consistent. Despite the fact that this is a uh, somewhat regrettable inclusion. We are John. We're John, right? God damn it. Now I'm fucking second guessing myself. Yeah, we're John. Okay, we're John. Yeah, because, because, because fucking we were George and Amorous. And the presidential naming scheme. So, the first, first visual novel would be John after John Adams. So, John. Thus, why, uh, in Harold's route, we were named Thomas. That's how I should have remembered that repeat came first. B between, uh, repeat and extracurricular activities. We are John, motherfucker! John, huh? <laughs> nice to meet you. Kinda glad someone else is stuck in this miserable weather with me. Better than being miserable alone, at the very least. Well, thanks. Would you rather I leave you here? Well, uh... Great! Let's get going! <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I just realized! And maybe I've realized it before, but if you look at the bottom left corner, there's actually, like... Text on the street. So this was literally taken from a usual street view. <laughs> Is that where this picture came from? <laughs> I mean, that was probably obvious, and maybe I've made that observation before, but for love of gourd. As we made our way around the building, I stuck close under Philip's umbrella. I was glad for his good timing. The idea of trotting around the campus on my first day soaked to the bone was not pleasant. Awkward silence hung between us as we walked closely around the building. Philip fumbled with his umbrella, glancing at me periodically. Uh, by the way, John, uh, what subject are you studying here? What do you mean? You mean you forgot? Did you do all that paperwork while half asleep or something? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> hey, no worries, you're not the only one. I pulled an all-nighter myself and finished it at the last minute. <laughs> Sounded like he was only bringing this up because he couldn't think of anything else to talk about. It's a bit weird that we can only choose one subject to study here. Maybe they go really in-depth? It'd suck if you got into a subject you didn't really care about, though. Oh, I remember something like this. I think I, uh, signed up for photography or something? Uh, wow, I really did finish that paperwork half asleep. Way to go, John. Procrastination hero for future generations. Photography, huh? Oh, well, that's a pretty interesting choice. I scratched my head awkwardly. I'm pretty sure I only chose it because it sounded like an easy course. <laughs> Hey, there's no shame in being lazy. You don't have to say it quite like that. Oh, I'm happy to admit I'm a proud couch potato. It's all about finding a good balance, really. I've adopted the sleep is for the week and coffee is my lifeline strategy myself. That doesn't sound very healthy. Well, at least you're always willing to admit it externally. Yeah, you're probably right. But work helps keep my mind busy and away from the 
bad thoughts, you know? And what better way to deal with the stress than keeping yourself busy? Oh, hey, a choice! Aw, oh, look at this smile back there! Look at the man! I don't know, maybe you should find a better way to cope, or I just take a nap. Hmm. First one sounds a little dismissive, and the second one... Also sounds like you're writing off depression as... Yeah, just sleep it off. I don't know. These don't sound like... Maybe I'm projecting a little bit here, but... Uh, I'm gonna go with number two, just in case. Sleeping your problems away is always an option. Sleep? Oh, for the god... <laughs> oh, I'd ever sleep! I've been awake for five years! Uh, out of curiosity, what happens here? Working your ass off doesn't really sound like a long-term solution. Why don't you just burn yourself out and get more stressed? People have limits, you know? I don't know. Sometimes when I stop, my mind starts to drift, and... I have a hard time stewing in my own thoughts, to put it lightly. I don't know. Oof. That's an interesting dichotomy, and this one we... Hmm. We're kind of getting him to open up a bit on the first one. And we're being honest with him. The second one, we're just kind of getting a... Ooh, what sleep, oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a joke, kind of answer, but... Huh. I want to I wanna hear more out of this one. What do you do to keep yourself running? I kind of just eat snacks when I'm stressed. Like, like a lot of snacks. Chocolate's a real wonder food. Hey, here it is. Sugar is bad for you. You tell me you don't like chocolate. Once in a blue moon, if I'm desperate. A little dark chocolate at most. Particularly the unsweetened, bitter variety. I feel like this is a deep look into your psyche. Ahem. Chocolate preference is not a valid psychiatric evaluation method. I don't trust anyone who claims they don't like chocolate. Because you know they're liars. Well, then, I guess I should take my lion ass and umbrella somewhere else. Good luck in a rain on your own! As <laughs> he slinks off screen. <laughs> Wait, come back! I'm getting soaked out here! Uh... Oh, man. I have no idea if that was the better choice or not. I feel like it was a little more interesting, I don't know. I feel just like a... Oh, Pshaw, sleep is for the week kind of... Back and forth is a little bit... Meh, but uh... Actually getting to hear him... Stew on his inner thoughts is a little more interesting, I don't know. After a short walk, the two of us have arrived at the school's back entrance. Oh look, I think there's someone already here. I glance out from under Philip's umbrella. There was some weird buff guy struggling to climb up the side of a building's walls. Oh boy, here we go. A burglar? No, I think it's a student. If he's a burglar, he's a pretty bad one. As we approached, the weird guy spotted us and grinned before taking a great acrobatic leap and landed in front of us. One and all, it's the anime protag. Here he comes, then promptly slipped and toppled into Philip. Oh god. Gah! Oh, there he goes. Uh, there we go, oh, man. He's been jockified. Jesus. He is way more, like, chonkified. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sorry there, little guy. 
I've never really nailed down what voice Owen is supposed to have in this game. I've just sort of willied around what the hell I wanted to sound like. Sorry about that. You are right. I'm still in one piece, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> this expression. That's a relief. <laughs> Were you cute? Hmm. He is very forward. Very, very forward. Were you cuties locked out too? Cuties? Amazing. He's flirting horribly and he hasn't even introduced himself yet. Air oh, he gets an he gets a CG to introduce himself. <laughs> he's he's all upper body. When it gets to his midriff, he just sort of slinks back, but <laughs> good lord. The fucking heart. Jesus Christ. Hey now, I was just trying to make y'all feel welcome. Anyway, the name's Owen. Owen Lorelei. I'm a student at Garania, just like you guys. Oh my. <laughs> oh, with the bubbles. Good lord. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. It's always nice to meet a bunch of fucking new folks. <laughs> you ham. You're a fucking ham. Are you guys from around here? I'd be happy to show you guys around for a good time. And <laughs> that is fucking funny. You can literally, you can literally see the fucking frost coming off of fucking Philip. Literally, some snow <laughs> coming off of fucking Philip as the radi as the radiating energy is meeting Philip's frost. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, fucking John can barely see through the fucking light. Cries. <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is funny. I like this. Dots and more dots. He's very colorful and a. I'm leaving. <laughs> Wait, don't go. He says. Out of his side mouth. I still need your umbrella. <laughs> hey, now, what about me? Don't just ignore a guy when he's trying to open up to you. Oh, yeah, they'd have to reset their, their boundaries because they... They don't- they haven't had- they have to have that fucking confrontation. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I prefer if you keep it closed, thing. Oh my god, man. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Let it be known that you've murdered the great Owen Lorelei's self-esteem within ten seconds of meeting him. Wow. Okay, he is way more pompous than before. Good lord. Tragic. Alright, there they go. Philip suddenly glanced back at the other guy with a frown. Lorelei is in that shady and rich family. Uh-oh. Yep, this was one of the patch notes. They said they were gonna mention the fucking family history more in the prologue, which is good, because that would be an important fucking like, note to have. The one that practically owns the school and half the city. Uh oh. He's been caught. Y yeah, that one. One mumbled under his breath. He looked a bit uncomfortable. Hmm. 
Oh, God. Fucking one percenter and anarchist all right next to each other. Philip glanced over the big guy, appraising him like a possible pest to be dealt with. Well, it's nice to meet you, I guess. My name is Philip Tan. Tan, I've never learned how to properly pronounce that. I apologize. Philip Tan? Tan? You don't know how to pronounce that? I apologize. And so do I. Hey, we're roommates! Am I really giving him... Am I going full Carl? Hey, we're roommates! How's it going? I'm Gabriel now. Ho! Oh. Am I... He doesn't seem like that kind of guy, though. No, I don't want to go that full. I, that, 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 that's an appropro. He, that was, that's not the right voice for him. Maybe that dialed back like 80%. Like, hey, we're roommates. Something like that. But I don't want it to go too gravelly because we got Sissel coming up and he's, you know, apparently got laryngitis times a million. God, I wish I was a good voice actor. Anyway. Flip's smile immediately dropped like lead. Lead, I tell you! Lead! What? How do you know? I've lived at this academy for like seven years. Of course I'd have some insider information. <laughs> Looking forward to it, little man. All right. Likewise. Owen turned to me with a wide grin. This guy seems a bit too excited. <laughs> What's your name, handsome? Uh, I'm John. Anyway, why were you trying to climb the building? <sighs> right to the point, huh? Well, the door was locked, so I tried to reach the window and climb inside from there. Uh... Or maybe we could just wait until someone passes by to open the door for us? You know, like, normal people. I already waited, like, forever, though. It'll take an eternity. It's tempting to go full fucking- Yeah, I already waited, like, eternity, though! Ugh. But it just- it doesn't fit him. It doesn't- I don't- it just doesn't feel right. Waiting sounds safer than climbing windows. You're one to talk. But we don't know that yet! Uh, it's not that hard, really. I used to climb these windows all the time. There's a little ledge over there that we can use, and it'll be super quick. Eh, you'll probably break the window and be in a world of... <sighs> Pain. That also reminded me of something I didn't consider when starting this. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet, but it's probably gonna happen at some point. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> when is it gonna come up? Oh god. Look here, buddy. I'm too suave and handsome to break anything but expectations in bed. In, in the bad way? Probably. Only ever in the good way. Want to find out firsthand? Owen leans in close and gives me a wink. Um... Phil coughed behind us. Let's just find a way inside the building. I mean, you two can have your bedroom experience out here, but I won't help you when you get arrested for public indecency. We weren't! <laughs> Guess we'll have to save it for later. What Philip's eyes rolled into the back of his head reminded me of a great white shark going in for the kill. Anyway, John, what do you think we should do? Oh, the choice! The choice! Um, since we're not really going for a route on this, we're just reading the prologue here. Um... I know that either one works, but we're not supposed to know that. Um, I personally, uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna go with just waiting. Because, <laughs> uh... I don't like gassing up Owen. <laughs> I don't like... Especially now that he seems like way more... Gassed up pre-us. I'm gonna I'm gonna like, stick with Philip on this from for now. Uh, I'm not sure I want to try climbing a building when it's raining out. You'd probably slip and end up hugging the ground. Ah, uh, you're a bunch of killjoys. Opportunities to climb windows don't come every day, you know. Eh, better safe than sorry, after all. I guess you could say we're missing a. <sighs> Window of opportunity. <laughs> uh, uh, God. <laughs> For the record, the way I read these lines, I don't say it as I'm reading it. I, I kind of like, I, my eyes read the line and then my mouth is like catching up with my eyes. I don't, I don't know if that really makes sense, but so my eyes will read the line, and my mouth will be, like, a couple seconds behind it. So, like... By the time my eyes got to Window of Opportunity, my mouth is just saying... Finish saying, guess you could say. So... <laughs> so... <laughs> by the time I comprehended that there was a pun happening... <laughs> I had just finished saying missing uh. So that was a genuine moment where I fucking was like missing a uh. <laughs> like, I didn't I didn't <laughs> Oh, I don't Oh, jeez. I groaned and buried my face in my hands. Jeez, and you think my flirting was bad? Take your flirting over bad puns any day. Don't be rude, that was a good one. If you say so. Keep dreaming, kiddo. You're losing this war. And all of our respect for making us wait outside for all eternity. You're all so high maintenance. Well, I suppose I could make this easier and just pick the lock. Whoa, you know how to pick locks? <laughs> That's sick. Where'd you learn this kind of stuff? I can't go revealing all my secrets. Anyway, give me a few minutes. Lock picking takes a while. Philip crouches down in front of the door and pulls out some hairpins and tweezers. I mean, the way he's picking at it, you'd think he's done this before. Uh, yeah. He just said he knows how to do it, which would presume the fact that he's done it before. Why did you say that? <laughs> nice view back here. Philip just rolled his eyes and continued picking the lock. Are you always this flirty? <laughs> oh, you jealous? Don't worry, dude, your type turns me on, too. Snap! <laughs> Good news is that I unlocked it! Bad new... Bad new... First typo that I noticed. Ah, uh, hey, hey! Took a while. Been recording for 40 minutes already. Good lord. Bad news is that I kinda... Broke the lock. This thing ain't staying closed anytime soon. Well, at least now we can get inside and not from this rain. Ah, the front foyer. As the three of us shook the rain from our hair, I glanced around the lobby. This school is fancier than I expected. I wonder where we're supposed to go from here. Orientation's probably over by now. I think we should probably find a teacher. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's time for... Ooh, ooh menace. Wait a minute. This might not actually be who I was thinking. Oh, I forgot about this schmucko. It might be the bad one or it could be the good one. I don't remember. 
We got Hey You Brats. Ah, oh, damn it, it's this fucker. I, mm, I actually forgot this guy existed. Oh god, okay, hold up. I gotta remember what this guy sounds like. Large, ugly rat hobbled towards us, his face scrunched up with hostility. Looked like the type of guy who'd frequently start bar fights. What do you miscreants think you're doing, entering the building like a bunch of criminals? Oh, hello there, Dorcas. That's Mr. Dolores to you, brat! If you say so. The man, I think he's a teacher, turns toward me and Philip with an upturned nose. And you're John and Philip, I take it? The two that missed the orientation? Wow, only two? The, the like, really, orientation is that widely participated in? Good lord. Yes? Owen was with us, too. Who would have thought the Grenier Academy's new students would be snooping in here this way? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Actually, all the entrances were locked and we were stuck in the rain. A system glitch, I guess. No need to yell at them for something they had no control over. Mr. Loris huffed and shook his head. Whatever! At least you folks weren't like that other kid that didn't even show up. Here, take your student ID cards and unpack at your dorms. And Owen, make yourself useful and be a tour guide or something. Mr. Dolores tossed the ID cards at us and stomped away. Wow. That guy was... A douche? <laughs> Sorry about the first impression, guys. This is a good school, really. Dolores is just a jackass. I heaved a tired sigh. It hasn't even been an hour, and this school's already been an exhausting experience. Shaking my head, I glanced at my ID card. Hey, hey look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! Ugh. I probably shouldn't have sent a selfie as my ID photo. What was I thinking? By the way, uh, Owen, could you show us where our dorms are? Of course! And Philip and I get some roommate bonding time, too. What? Come on, buddy, it'll be a good chance to get to know each other. Owen goes to put a friendly arm around Philip, but the little guy instantly stiffens. Oh, I just remembered something. I better get going. What'd you forget? Uh, I forgot. Uh, ah, there it is! The first one of the build! <sighs> do I do it? Is this the moment? Do we finally make the exception because... It is the momentous occasion. Do we finally put it to bed? Do we let sleeping dogs lie? Or whatever the hell the phrase is. Because it is in a momentous occasion, this is the first time, this is where it all began. So many people have asked, where did this fucking feud between me and this word start? It started here, man. Because this word is, this word was littered all throughout this fucking game. And then it started popping up in other games, and I literally had people say they're gonna put it in game just to fuck with me. <laughs> so, I think because it is a special occasion, it's been almost six years since it started. I don't know when. I started not saying it out of a principle. It had to be after that, obviously, but, uh... I still maintain this is not a word. It should not be widely used. But as a peace offering... And, uh... In the... Goals of keeping... Uh, it... Not widely used. I will offer this olive branch. 
I can feel my left arm tingling now. <laughs> Well, time for me to leave. I'll see you guys around. How the fuck not? <laughs> he fucking slides off screen. Owen thoughtfully stared as Philip strolled away. I yelped as Owen elbowed me playfully. <laughs> what a cute guy. Is he single? Dude, we just met. I don't know a thing about him. Please don't ask him out. Philip looked like he might snap. Huh, bummer. Whatever, I'm sure we'll get to know each other real well after a while. Well, anyway, I better show you the way to your dorm. By the way, why are you the one who's showing us around? You don't exactly look like a tour guide. Um, Owen started walking briskly down the hall. I struggled to keep up with his stride. It's a long story, to be honest. Um, uh, I've been living at this academy for like seven years. I'm pretty familiar with how things work around here, so I run errands for the teachers fairly often. Seven years? You mentioned that earlier, and you're just now questioning it. Why are you at this academy for so long? Oh boy, how do I explain this without making it awkward? Well, um, I kind of ran away from my home when I was little. Family trouble and whatnot. So, now I'm here. Any questions of the academic variety? Pursue the plot! Following the plot. Are you doing okay? That sounds... kind of rough. Are you doing okay? One waved its hand dismissively. Me? Oh, I'm perfectly fine. That stuff happened forever ago. I don't think about it much nowadays. Nothing but happy thoughts here. Sorry to put you down on your first day with all this heavy stuff. Glanced at Owen doubtfully. He was grinning, but the smile doesn't quite reach his eyes. Anyway, let's head off to your dorms. Introductory classes are going to start soon. Let's go then. Just try and keep up. Dorian building is right. Here it is. Right here. There's an odd number of students this year, so you get a room all to yourself. How <laughs> lucky. My own room? Sweet. Now you better get unpacked quickly. Classes start in about 10 minutes. I gotta go myself, so see you around, kiddo. I put down my bags and sank into the bed, sighing at the comfort. So, this is where I'll be living for the next month, huh? And also, learning photography, apparently. I hope the people around here don't turn out to be complete weirdos. The Philip kid seemed nice enough. I was kinda doofy, though. I always looked like he was lost or something. And that Owen guy was a little too flirty, but eh, whatever. Things could be worse. School seemed a little preppy and upper class, too. I really don't fit in around here, do I? Not that I fit in at home, either. As I sat alone in my room, I could feel my mind wander into uncomfortable places. And to think of it, surrounding myself with other people did a decent job of drowning out that sinking feeling that made its home in my chest for the past few years. It felt... <laughs> nice. Well, <sighs> sitting here contemplating it wasn't gonna help. Better head off to good old photography class now. Leaped off the bed and stretched my arms overhead with a sigh. Here goes nothing. 